All right, we are at the dawn of a new era in mobile medicine. A cardiologist considered a technological pioneer believes you could soon take control of your own health care and data. Dr. Eric, Eric Topol is author of The Patient Will See You Now. The Future of Medicine is in Your Hands. The book goes on sale today, and he's with us for an interview you're seeing first on CBS this morning. Dr. Topol, good morning. Good morning, Laura. So we know we have all this technology now. How is it going to affect our health? How is the future of medicine in our hands? Well, up until now, it was really a control by the doctor, and it was a whole different look uh, than what it can be, which is the data that you're generating through your smartphone that you get to see first, and you get to make the call with uh, computer assistance. Mm -hmm. And so it's a real flip of how medicine's been for thousands of years. You it's, think it's like a Gutenberg moment? Yes, it really is. It just as the printing press, um, uh, um, the printed word, mm -hmm. and how the common man became uh, access to all information. It's the same now uh, in 2015 with the medical word and the medical data, your data. It looks like you brought some devices mm -hmm. with you. I did, Charlie. Uh, we, got to, we got a bunch of things to show to help okay. bring the point across. Okay. Um, maybe we can start off with a cardiogram. Yeah. And uh, basically, this is uh, a great thing because you can just uh, pull up an app. And instead of going to an emergency room and you feel like your heart's fluttering or missing beats, you can just uh, uh, take a little device like this, yeah. Yeah. put your thumbs on it, uh, on the sensors, and in just a second, you'll have uh, a cardiogram. Uh, oh, over here. Look at okay. That. Wow. And uh, it's actually great because it will tell you with a computer reading highly accurately what exactly is your heart rhythm. Wow. And what, so, if, what would, if you saw something that alarmed you, what would that be? Well, you could have a, a, a serious heart rhythm like atrial fibrillation, right. that could be a risk of a stroke, mm -hmm. and then you'd need to, to be on medication, blood thinners, to help prevent that from ever happening. Yeah, yeah, you write in your book that you got an email from a patient that said, I'm an atrial fib, what should I do? You knew that that was a game changer. It was a brand new day. Yeah. Patients we, taking control. Prior to that, you'd have to go to an emergency room and you'd have to go through all the rigmarole that's associated with that. But now, in seconds, through your phone, you can get a computer accurate reading. What else you have? Well, this uh, is a really interesting uh, necklace uh, from Two Cents that you just can pop on like this. And then... Gail um, likes necklaces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not a fashion yes, statement for, for jewelry, but, um, but you can then get an incredible amount of information about the heart. So um, in just a second, it'll show um, basically uh, not just the heart rhythm, uh, but also every other aspect of um, the... Uh, but why would an average consumer wants or need something like that? Uh, well, for heart, for, this is not for the average consumer, but this mm -hmm. is someone with heart failure, mm -hmm. okay. trying to avoid going into the hospital. Uh, this is the biggest problem for readmission that we have in the United States. The light is and, blue. Is that a bad sign? <laughs> no. Before, before it was green, I yeah. was like, green was good. Well, yeah, <laughs> it, it, should, it should go. Uh, but at any rate, so this will basically show all heart parameters, cardiac output, the fluid in the, yeah. the chest mm -hmm. and everything else. So what's the impact? of all of this? I mean, is it going to impact hospitals? Is it going to impact um, in other ways how we uh, exercise our own responsibility for our health? Well, the, having your information, your data, this is not about looking something up on the internet. This is all about your data, real time. So like if you, want, if you have high blood pressure and you wear a watch mm -hmm. and every heartbeat, your blood pressure is getting recorded, graphed onto your phone. Or if you want to not have to wear a watch, you can just put this to your forehead and get your blood pressure in various key medical metrics. Mm -hmm. and Do so, you encourage people to diagnose themselves though, doctor? Because yeah. I kind of want to go see you. You're the rock star <laughs> science doctor. Right. Do you, do you, but you're encouraging us to, to take a look at this and do this. Well, the doctors are going to still be needed yeah. critically for helping to make uh, the appropriate treatment. Mm -hmm. has the guidance, the wisdom and experience. That's so vital. Yeah. But for the diagnostic stuff, you'll be able to do your labs through your smartphone, mm -hmm. be able to get a lot of this information in the wild, in your real world world rather than the one-off visit to the doctor's office. I like this you because like of, this. I, very yeah. much so, simply yeah. because how often do we were here, if you discovered something earlier, the treatment would have been different and more successful. And, oh. and secondly, to know there is danger, doctors can do a lot of things. I mean, just the, act, the fact that if you get attention early to a stroke, you can minimize the damage. Exactly. And we never had this information before. We've been uh, kind of one-off specialists, not having right. real data. Uh, and, and just for something like blood pressure, we never had blood pressure throughout the night when you're in traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, and being able to monitor, quantify stress and mood 
these are really new, exciting opportunities. No, you say the term doctor's order should just be eliminated from our vocabulary. Well, it's really uh, the problem with paternalism, Gail, and that is we've had this um, not having enough respect for patients. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. been the kind of patients are the Rodney Danger Field, mm -hmm. and we really need to change that. And for people, when they have their own information, they're uh, informed and even can get emancipated with respect to their medical care. Okay. Maybe in medical schools they should teach something about respect for the patients and their curiosity. Yes. I think and they do. I, I think that's where we're headed. And in fact, the fact that you can summon a doctor through your phone, not just a televisit, but you can have the doctor come to your house. Uber mm -hmm. doctor! There you go. Even here in New York City. That's right. All right. Thank you, Dr. Eric Topol. Your iPad's flashing. <laughs>